What's up, Papa G from people? Today's video. Well, let's check something out. You see if you guys can get a little idea of what we're doing here. It ain't supposed to do that. It's like total shredded. We got tape holding together here, seams are splitting through here. Top has had better days right here. So does that give you all a clue what the video is about today? How to change a top, 2,000 mile TJ. Well, let's get this on. Now before you even think about getting froggy of pulling the top off of it, the very first thing you really need to do is hope you're doing this on a nice warm summer day because you're going to utilize this beautiful sun we have right now. Take the top out of the box, throw it out in the middle of the yard, let it heat up, let it relax because a cold top does not stretch. They are a total pain in the tail to put on. So if you're doing this in the winter time, what you're gonna need to do is find your warm garage. If you don't have a warm garage, find a friend with a warm garage. You need that top to warm up and relax. So let's get this thing out of the box and get it thrown out in the middle of the yard. That's what it looks like coming out of the box. That thing's folded up, crunched up, and through all the shipping, it will not, will it go on right now? Yes. Will you create new customers in the process? Yes. So get it out of the box, we're gonna roll this thing out. Notice how it's supposed to curl right here. It really helps you take the top, uh, the material, and lay it with a black side up because black absorbs heat. So therefore helping the material relax much faster. That's it, just let it set out the sun, let it warm up. Now we're gonna get the top off the Jeep. Let's do the passenger side door first. Grab them, let's pull them out. Take them over here. Pull all your Velcro loose. It tastes to be a little bit more forgiving if you unzip your window so you can allow it to stretch and move. Take your fingers, hook it underneath the bottom right there. Roll it back. Spider webs out of there. Get out of there, dang it. Yeah. Material just as soft right now. Stretch is much easier when it's hot. Lay it down. Set your frame in. So you make sure you get the right one. 
unzip the window. Now that you got, you got more. Now that you know you got the right one, unzip your window. Allows the material to move around and flex better. Pull your bottom belt. Deep pocket right there. This corner goes in that deep pocket. Got a pocket right through here, bottom edge of this frame, touch that inside that pocket. Then we've got this corner here to deal with. Now it's a new top. Yes, it's hot out here, but it's still a good stretch. So you take this corner, tuck, pull it back, pull it over top of the edge of that. And what you have to do is when it's tucks into this corner here, right here's the edge of the metal, here's the actual corner where it belongs. Grab your frame. Pull back, and you just have to massage it, work with it till you get there. There we go. Now it's in. Then we lay our frame back down. Work a bit for around here. And you save yourself a little bit of head. Go ahead, take the velcro and just kind of lap it over loosely. That'll hold it up there for you. Turn your frame around. Pull the Velcro. Put it on the frame. Actually, it's better to leave that short end. Leave it off. Then we're going to take your fingers, see how I got my fingers positioned? Do not use a screwdriver. You will be tempted, but don't do it. You'll poke holes in the material. Roll your fingers up the frame. It hurts a little bit, this edge. Locks open. Close up all your Velcro. have one complete. Now this little tail right here. Get it down. You want to trim it to just above this right here because that way it actually overlaps a little bit. You get less wind and rain get blown into the corners right here. So you want to trim it to just below that a little bit. So we're going to do the top next. Getting started on the top, let's pull the side windows. Pull your Velcro. Oh, to zip it. Ah, heck. Y'all know how to unzip zippers? Oh, wait. In, it pulls out of that channel and comes out of your belt rail. And that's out. Get the other side. I heck, the other side does the same thing. Okay, go ahead and take out your back window, just unzipping it all the way around. Both sides. Okay, I said that a moment ago, I was actually thinking about my YJ. What you gotta do with the TJs, and I just dawned on me. You've got a metal band right here, and over here, the zippers come completely off. So what you gotta do is take your zipper, come all the way around like this, both of them bring them up one end to take your back window completely out this thing has been an absolute pain the tail coming off because it's top so old like i said seven eight years old we're not gonna fuss and fight with this so if you can take your back window out go for it but if you can't don't fight it because we're replacing the top anyway so there's no need of causing a big fuss over it okay we'll loosen our frame we'll take our latches here both sides then we're gonna pick the top up and just move it back a little bit typically whenever you want to just remove the top on a tj just go cruising around you pop those latches like you just did 
lay the top back this way. We're replacing the top. Save yourself a little bit of headache. You take these here, peel your top forward that way. It makes it much easier, honestly. So pull these back corners. You're gonna lay these over. You see where you can get into right here, and these unsnap from the frame. We're supposed to. That there we go. Keep peeling the top board, and then your center bar here. You got Velcro to hold that together. Just put your Velcro all the way across. Then we'll keep laying the new uh, low, low, little up. We'll keep laying the top over that way. Side channels. Take the top. Hold that. I can grab hold of it. There it goes. And yeah, I guess that's sticky. Typically what you can do, you put that one screw and this whole piece right here comes out of this tube. They're being cantankerous, so we're not gonna do that, risking breaking breaking things. Keep all your Phillips head screws. So what we did, we had laid the whole top back, frame sitting here, these screws all the way across through here. You gotta take them out of this header piece. So let's get these screws out. Keep your screws. Best top does not include replacements, you will need to keep these. Now once you get all the screws out, it just pulls right off. It's got a middle bar in the middle of the thought. Oh my gosh, it's broken in half. It's like it might be replacing this one someday. But it's got a metal bar through it, so we're gonna live with it. Sweet. Alright, put the new top on. It's about 85 degrees out here right now. This top, look. Versus remember when we took it out of the box how stiff and rigid it was? That is why you need to live, make sure the top warms up. Now putting the new top on, look how we got it positioned. This is the outer surface. See right here, the inner surface. This part number, this particular uh, best top part number has holes located. If you've got one hole in particular here, you notice how these are all slots, okay? that one is a hole that hole right there use it first to locate the top centering it then the rest of them are just slots so they just kind of fall right in place you know you got a little bit of a leeway this right here being a positive hole is going to hit here first so hole screw that one in first work your way this way then work your way that way save yourself some headache go ahead and uh, get a couple screws started because once the screws start tightening up, it's not going to bunch up on the material, but it will screw into the plastic. So that'll get you, so you're know, trying to hold this in place while you're trying to put the screws in. So you can go ahead and preset this screw right here and go from there. To give yourself a little bit of helping hand, go ahead and wrap the corner here. This will hold everything in line you know, straight along the uh, top header bar. This can be done if one person, two people really help. So in between camera shots, I'm holding stiff. But you got that screw started, and you see like right here's a little slot, here's a little slot, and here's a slot. You will put a screw on the end right here, but don't do it till last, till you got all the rest of them in position. And pretty much the top laid over, kind of stretched in place, because it's gonna pull this corner back, and it's gonna see it like this, whenever the top's kind of stretched. Then you tie down that last corner. Take your corner, and stretch it over that end. And once you get it out, you just kind of pull back toward the front of the Jeep and it kind of sets it in pocket just enough that it'll hold the uh, strip in place for you while you screw, get the screw started. Now as a general rule, and if you really pay attention when you take the top off, you notice like each one of these ribs right here, that's where our screw hole location is gonna be. Best Top did put some slots and such in place to get you centered out and in line. But there was a few of them that didn't have, like this one right here does. Uh, this one right here did not have the pre-drilled hole. So therefore you just kind of line up right here, pick your material up, see where your um, screw head's hidden, run it through the channel just a little bit. And as you get through the strip a little bit, get the tip just protruding through, then you can line it up with that hole, then drive your screw on home. 
So we're gonna get the rest of these snugged up, be sure they're good, then we're gonna lay the top back over on the Jeep. Okay, we took the top, laid it over on the Jeep, and like I said, keep mentioning these corners right here, you just wanna kinda tuck them back under for right now. Don't worry about your channels quite yet. Take your latches. Uh, hold up, Blaine, wait, wait, hold. Unlatch yours, the latch is in the wrong place. Pick it up, bring the latch down, hook it, lock it in place. Then you want these on the back side here to pull over. Now you could have done it one or two different ways. We let you go ahead and lock that front down because right now the top is still hot, pliable, so it's able to stretch material, pull it down and center everything as we went. The other option is you can hook this in here and then pull the top over, but here's what you run into. The, the top is very pliable right now. It's a new top, it's hot because it's you know, really flexible and such. You'll drive yourself nuts sometimes if you try to hook these first, which is customary. But you hook these first, then you try to bring the top over and you know locking these down. You'll end up chasing your tail a lot because back here it'll keep on coming unhooked. So lock it down first. The top will stretch enough to lock these in place because you see no windows in it. We don't have the center bar tied in. The top is pretty pliable right now, so it's not hard at all to lock that front first, then lock these in so we can get the uh, snaps in place and. The velcro for the center bar. I know somebody's gonna call me out on that. You're supposed to hook the back first before you lock the front. This time it's actually a better thing to lock the front first, then hook your backs. So let's get the bars locked in. It really does help a lot when you've got two people doing this. You got one person snapping. But sometimes if the bars are a little bit off center, you've got to stretch just enough that you know it's holding everything in place. That one person can pull the material and pushing the bar at the same time to get the snap center back up now yes you can at this point you could a few different options honestly you can reach snap this loose lift the top loosen up and it'll allow it to move a little bit better your velcro here in the center this is going to be one of those things that as the top relaxes and gets stretched in place and everything you'll end up repositioning this a couple times okay you see what the velcro is wanting to come, come back open right here once the top is settled in you just keep tightening your velcro and after a while you won't have to pull with it anymore so now we're going to put our screws in this corner since we've got the top seed so now let's put our side windows in start the zipper bring it around Snap your front channel in first. And tuck your velcro. Ta-da! One side. Now we're going to put our tailgate bar on for the back window. But just in case you have a dub moment and you get all froggy, oh my gosh, I got a new top, I'm going to get it put on. And you get all excited and start tearing stuff apart. Back window, of course, on the outside of the Jeep. Got the tailgate bar set in place. Look where your line is here. This is where your back window slides in. This is your rubber seal that the tailgate closes upon. It should be a good snug fit here. See, you get the width of that. Tucks up inside here. There, okay? Grab hold of it. Pull it off, walk over to your back window. Your back window is already in position with the outside facing upward, and that's how you're going to slide it in. So we'll slide this back. You got that channel. Chill there. And it just slides down like this right here. Then we take our back window to the Jeep.
got the stop bands over here, so it has to start over there. Put your tailgate bar in place, kind of help yourself out a little bit. There you go. Now we went into the tailgate bar. I showed you how to do the tailgate bar just so you know how to position it because I took it off. It's laying on top of the Jeep right now, oriented in the correct direction, okay? Because it's really a pain to tell with the tailgate bar on to do this. Okay, here's your zipper. You wanna push it all the way down to the stop. Then that one, all the way down to the stop. Feed your zipper through. Then once you get the bed through, then you run your zipper around. Sometimes stuff happens, the uh, little pull tab came apart. We're gonna show you how to put it back together. Feed you back through. If you look right there, all it does is snap with inside itself. It's got little teeth right there that bite into the cord. Get your cord ends, line up. Hold them together, put your little snap up there. Squeeze and snap in place. And you're good to go. He and I both are beating our shins and knees on this darn thing right here. Now, slide the tailgate bar back in. Roll it under, snap it into your pieces. And then you close your tailgate. Voila, we have a top installed. Now, it's still loose because we don't have the front snapped in right now, so don't be freaking out. Oh my gosh, it don't fit right. We have not got that pulled down tight. It's loose. Now, there'll be some comments about the windows. I know Best Top offers uh, tinted. I like tinted. You can see my YJ right there, tinted. This one had the tinted back glass on, or tinted side glasses as well, or covers, or whatever crap you want to call them. Let me tell you something. Once the top gets really old and the back glass gets scratched, the opacity of the dark tint, trying to back up at nighttime, trying to change lanes going down the highway, it ain't a whole lot of fun. So it's your choice though. The tinted one will make your Jeep cooler on the inside, you know, as far as heat outside, heating up the inside. But you know, it's your choice. Well, it's a good thing I haven't edited the video yet because I can drop in this little insert here. Well, and I want to point out the temperature difference inside this Jeep with the clear windows. We're heading uh, up the road here. We're going to go work on our truck. And I open up the passenger side door. You can feel the heat rolling out of this thing when I open up the door. This clear versus tinted windows makes a huge, huge difference in the inside temperatures. But you think about it, it makes sense. Clear windows, greenhouse. Hmm, think about that. Tinted windows does help a lot with the temperature inside of it, obviously. Another thing though, that with the tinted windows at nighttime makes it harder to see, but with a new tinted window top wouldn't be so bad. But over the years, the top gets abraised and kind of gets really hazy looking. They're much harder to see out of at that point. So that's kind of a decision to make as far as uh, tinted versus clear. <laughs> also, we're rolling 70 miles an hour right now. This new top made a huge difference in the top fluttering and just so much wider in here. So yeah, 70 miles an hour, we're not having to yell at each other. The top made a huge, huge difference. So everyone, if you got a little something from that video, hit me a little thumbs up. Also, subscribe if you haven't, because I got a lot of cool videos, like Jeep videos, car videos, motorcycle videos, tool videos, you never know. So hit me up with a, get subscribe. You will not regret it, I promise. Also, leave some cool comments down below. Did you learn something from this? If you did, hit that comments. I'll give you some cool suggestions you may have. So, everyone, I appreciate you hanging out with me. Peace out. Later, y'all.